On the deck of China's newest supercarrier Fujian, a sleek, twin-engine stealth jet bursts forward, rising into the sky from an electromagnetic catapult before touching down with flawless precision. That aircraft is the J-35, a symbol of how far carrier aviation has come. This isn't just another test flight, it's a glimpse into the next era of technology and design. In this episode, we'll uncover what makes the J-35 so revolutionary and why it redefines power at sea. The J-35 isn't just another aircraft. It's the result of over a decade of refinement and quiet development. Originating from the FC-31 demonstrator that first flew in 2012, the J-35 has evolved through multiple prototypes to become a carrier-capable stealth fighter designed for the next era of naval aviation. Each iteration moved closer to one goal, a reliable, flexible, low-observable multi-role aircraft that could operate from sea and land with equal confidence. Its engineering tells that story clearly. The J-35 uses twin engines, advanced stealth shaping, and a carefully contoured fuselage to minimize radar reflections. Observers describe its form as elegant yet functional, a chiseled nose, diverterless supersonic inlets, and internal weapons bays that preserve its aerodynamic purity. These internal bays allow the fighter to carry guided munitions while maintaining stealth, giving it a sleek silhouette that hides its true capability from radar systems. One of the most distinctive features is the undernose electro-optical sensor window, a compact targeting and tracking system similar to what's found on leading global designs. It allows the pilot to detect, track, and analyze targets across multiple spectrums without relying solely on radar, a vital advantage for long-range operations. The aircraft also incorporates folding wings and reinforced landing gear for the stresses of carrier takeoffs and recoveries. These features were confirmed when imagery first surfaced in 2021, showing prototypes fitted with the telltale dual-wheel nose gear and launch bar essential for catapult compatibility. Size-wise, the J-35 sits neatly in the medium category, about 17.3 meters long with an 11.5 meter wingspan, placing it between the larger J-20 Stealth Interceptor and older heavy fighters. It's expected to use the WS-19 turbofan engine, designed for higher thrust and fuel efficiency, though early trials may still rely on interim power plants. Every aspect of the J-35 reflects a shift in mindset. China isn't adapting old airframes anymore. It's creating purpose-built stealth systems. The Fujian carrier represents the perfect stage for the J-35's debut. It's China's first electromagnetic catapult-equipped carrier, and that technology changes everything. Traditional ski jump carriers rely on the aircraft's own thrust to get airborne, which restricts takeoff weight and range. But electromagnetic catapults, similar to those used by the latest U.S. carriers, launch jets with precision control, allowing heavier loads, longer missions, and safer deck operations. When the J-35 launched and landed from the Fujin in September 2025, it wasn't just about proving flight mechanics. It was proof that China's carrier aviation had entered a new era of sophistication. This event also showcased a growing carrier air wing ecosystem. Alongside the J-35 were the J-15T, an upgraded strike aircraft, and the KJ-600 early warning platform. Together, these aircraft form a triad that gives Fujin a balanced capability for surveillance, defense, and strike missions, depending on operational needs. The J-35's integration with the Fujin reveals a careful systems approach. Catapult compatibility allows the stealth jet to take off with more fuel and equipment, extending its endurance far beyond earlier fighters. That means longer patrols, expanded maritime coverage, and increased flexibility for varied tasks. The electromagnetic catapult system also reduces mechanical wear and allows for faster launch cycles, improving sortie rates, efficiency, and aircraft safety. Fujin itself is a technological powerhouse, with catapults, a full-length flight deck, and advanced arresting gear. These features position it among the world's most modern carriers. The ship serves as both a testing ground and an operational platform, where lessons learned will influence future designs and doctrines. 
This achievement also reflects China's growing capability in integrating high-tech systems, from propulsion and launch to onboard radar networks and communications. Instead of following foreign templates, the Fujin and J-35 pairing demonstrates a domestic evolution in carrier aviation philosophy. It's not simply about building a bigger ship, it's about building synergy between the carrier, its aircraft, and the infrastructure supporting both. The J-35 success at sea carries significance far beyond its flight deck. It symbolizes a new phase in global aviation competition, one centered on technological parity and innovation rather than sheer numbers. Until recently, only a handful of countries operated stealth aircraft, and only one could launch them from carriers. Now, that exclusivity has narrowed. China's successful deck trials signal its readiness to join this elite capability bracket. For global observers, this shift means the balance of technological prestige is changing. Carrier-borne stealth aircraft combine mobility, survivability, and flexibility. They serve as flying nodes in broader digital ecosystems, connecting satellites, early warning planes, drones, and ships into one integrated network. The J-35 sensors and data links are believed to fit this model, creating a system of systems approach where the aircraft doesn't just fly. It communicates, analyzes, and supports decision-making across the fleet. At the same time, the J-35's presence encourages healthy technological competition. It pushes research forward on propulsion efficiency, composite materials, and radar-absorbing coatings. For aviation engineers and aerospace industries worldwide, this moment underscores how rapidly innovation can accelerate when nations prioritize indigenous development. It also sparks renewed attention toward digital engineering, modular design, and sustainable production methods, ensuring next-generation aircraft are not only advanced but easier to maintain and upgrade across decades of service. However, it's worth noting that technology is only part of the equation. Operational excellence requires training, maintenance, and real-world experience, areas where China continues to learn and refine. Carrier operations are among the most complex feats of modern engineering and coordination. Pilots, deck crews, and support systems must function seamlessly under pressure. Developing that consistency will take years of disciplined practice and evaluation. From a global perspective, this breakthrough redefines how nations view maritime air operations. It showcases what's possible when advanced materials, software integration, and electromagnetic systems converge. The result isn't just a new aircraft, it's a new operational philosophy where stealth, efficiency, and electronic intelligence form the backbone of modern carrier aviation. The message behind the J-35's debut is clear. The future of air power lies not in confrontation, but in technological adaptation and mastery. The takeoff of the J-35 from the Fujin was more than a headline, it was a statement. It showed that advanced carrier aviation is no longer a single nation domain. Through precision engineering, advanced materials, and integrated systems, China demonstrated a leap into fifth-generation carrier operations. What began as a prototype a decade ago is now shaping real-world capability, whether viewed as a technological triumph or a new benchmark for others to meet. The J-35 represents progress through innovation. The skies over the ocean have entered a new era, one where the boundaries of possibility keep expanding. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.